Hey, 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 how's it going, guys? It's attack. We're back with another weekly update. Hey, how's it going? So, as you can see, I am in Rune Spain right now. I've been doing this kind of for my AFK stuff while I'm doing some Xbox or just want to watch something and I don't have to worry about dying. This is where I've been. I uh, did pretty good this week over there. Um. But anyway, let's get down to the actual XP. I had a really fun weekend, too. I'll touch on that at the end. I'm feeling a little bit sick, also. But, oh well, the show must go on. So anyway, let's, <laughs> let's keep on going. So, 500k Slayer XP. That's not that much, but I've only been doing Dark Beast tasks. My daily schedule, for the most part, you know, things change all the time. Doesn't always work. Whatever. My usual plan... Oh, I'll keep siphoning these off while I'm doing this, Still, so I'll do fire. Is... Do Dark Beast task, using it with my mask to force it. Then I do some uh, rune span usually for some AFK-ness. Usually about like an hour or so a day, I do that. Um, then I go and do... Uh, I've, I've just been killing some black dragons, it's pretty easy. You know, I can do that AFK, that's not hard. And usually I do that for a little bit of like strength XP, I've been working on that a little bit. It's also helping work towards, you know, slowly, a little bit of help for crafting. It's helping for prayer. So multiple things at once. I am considering doing some Queen Black Dragon, but I can't really do that AFK. And I'm not looking just for everything AFK, but that is kind of what I do. So I can watch stuff still, and there's a lot of videos and the things I try to keep up with. It just helps. So maybe on the weekends I'll do some Queen Black Dragon sometimes. I've just been really busy. Whatever, it's okay. Um, so yeah, 500k for Slayer, not bad. Talk about total XP in a minute. 1.7 mil invention. Like I said, just um, siphoning off the range stuff pretty much. The melee, I don't really do that nearly as much, so it's not really a thing for siphoning. Um, well, 1.7 isn't bad though. You know, level 142. What's the XP on that? 160 mil. Oh yeah, I hit 160 mil. Awesome. Um, yeah, 400k strength, that's, that is down, usually, maybe it's, uh, maybe close to a mil, just didn't work out this week, which is no problem, I've done a lot more rune crafting, if you can see, 1.2 mil rune crafting, I did advance the level, I believe, 104, yep, 104, 22.6 mil, that's not bad, now, I'm not trying to do this for my 120 method, this is just a good alternative, towards progress on runecrafting. Um, someone in the clan this past week had just gotten 120 runecrafting, um, which is awesome. Um, they did runespan, which is, you know, runespan is cool, but I, I like trying to make money for my skills. That's pretty much the main way that I make money, other than like herb runs, but those are pretty much all going towards 120 uh, herb. Um, yak hides, those extra that I get go towards selling for cash because it's a great profit. Even when it's down in price, you're still making like <laughs> like over five times what it's actually worth. So it's you know it's still pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's not bad. 1.2 mil in range, almost 1.3. That's only from doing a few Dark Beast tasks in a week. It's fantastic. I got 60 mil range, I believe, this this week also. Yep, 60.6 mil, almost 60.7. That'll probably be the first, you know, combat 120 that I get. I do like the green. I do like the strength green more, though, with the red. It's kind of like a Christmas color. I love Christmas. I think most kids probably do. You know, I'm not really a kid anymore, but you know what I mean? Most people. Um, so 1.3, not bad. Woodcut. I've been doing woodcut right next to the bank in Prif at the U's that are right there just because it's so AFK, easy to do. I usually have way more than that, but runecrafting has kind of taken its place, which is fine with me. It's a lot more at speed. Um, the woodcut helps towards making bows, which help towards components for invention. So you see how I'm kind of thinking, always doing something to help with doing it myself and not having to buy or rely on others for stuff. Uh, and 343k in farm, usually that's more around 500k. It's not bad, it's only herbs, the limp roots or worts, however you want to call them, and watermelons. When I have the time for watermelons, sometimes I'll cut it short, just check the limp roots and the herbs. 
I do like two separate trips. Um, so the juju is still active for the herbs at least, and then, you know it works out usually. Now I also did, which is not recorded or shown here, because if you look at these totals, you'll probably be thinking, oh, doesn't equal eight. Yes, I don't track everything. Now the big thing I have done was summoning. If you look at that bad boy down there, oh, 120. I got 120 um, this week. I don't remember what day. We finally got it. What I've been doing is putting my little bit of extra uh, bonus XP and stuff that I get from lamps, anything else, onto that. Now, at the end of the last Devil XP weekend, I was like 2, 3 mil off from 120. Um, it wasn't because of miscalculations. I didn't think I'd actually get that close with the little bit that I had. I knew I'd be short either way, but getting that close was awesome. So, I was not going to wait till whether they do another short one in three months from now or another six months, I don't want to wait. So, the bonus XP that I already have, I did on aimlot hour only. It's the exact same XP rates as the XP weekend because it is the same XP doing it with bonus and the aim lod and all that cool stuff um so that was that was cool um getting that very cool cape uh I'll, I'll wear it around definitely it is a cool looking one i do love my construction probably the most still but i will i will rock that once in a while um so not bad so this weekend and friday I had an awesome weekend. Even some of my plans got, <laughs> got canceled. Uh, things come up and stuff. Um, or people get sick or whatever. Um, for Sunday, I still I still had a packed weekend. If the Sunday, that would have been even more amazing and more crazy and less XP, which is okay. Life happens. Life is fun. Uh, and just go with it. So what did I do? So Friday... I took off from work. Um, why? Well, if you have me on Facebook or or in the clan, you would know that this past weekend, uh, Friday through Sunday, I only went for Friday. I was considering Saturday, but I decided against it, which I'm, I'm fine with, was uh, Anime Next. Anime Next is a convention, anime convention, that uh, is like the New York, New Jersey I guess you could say PA area. So the one that I went to was Atlantic City. It's only like two hours or so away from my house, depending which way you take. Um, it was awesome. Unfortunately, no one from my group, the anime group that I go to, went. Come on, that would have been even more fun going with people and having someone to talk to. So I was by myself. I was not going to miss it no matter what. Um... It was sweet. They had a really cool, big, big convention center. I've been to, like, two conventions before. A little one at a, at a community college nearby I've been to. And then the old location of Anime Next, which is, like, one exit from my house. I'm where they used to have it, but it's gotten so big, which is awesome, that they've had to move it to a huger location. So they've moved it, as I said, to Atlantic City. So the other one was cool, but just think. So the old location the one room was the size the one room that that, that the new one was in was the same size as the entire building as the old place so the new convention has many rooms that they use but the one room that i was in was as big as the whole entire other building so this place is huge this place has escalators and it's really cool I'd like to go there again for sure I definitely want to try next year to go to the uh, apparently there's a huge one in Boston I want to go to that I that one I would definitely get a hotel room stay there hopefully people go with me I really would not want to go alone it's just not as fun so maybe one of my friends could maybe my little brother or you know whoever um, that'd be awesome that's what I'm aiming for next year um, but this, yeah, this is cool. I found a lot of cool stuff. If you have me on Facebook, as I said, I have pictures up of some of the stuff, um, some of the things that I bought, uh, people that I saw. Uh, they have panels and stuff. I don't go there for that. 
I mean, if I had more time, maybe I would sit in on, on some stuff, but, like, I listen to anime, or watch anime, I should say, in Japanese, or as people call it, you know, sub. It's subtitled in English, what you're hearing is Japanese, you know, or dub, it's in English, and there's no subtitles, so there's always, you know, the war, just like the war on consoles, the war on Pepsi and Coke, you know, sub or dub. I like sub, it's original voice actors, you know, only a certain amount of shows are in English, so you would cut down on what you can see, but, you know, anime is anime, you know, everyone's part of the big family, you know, it doesn't bother me either way what people choose, um, but for me, I like subtitled, so when they have people come to speak, 99% of the time they have people from the English shows, which I haven't watched it in English, so... I don't know who they are, and I haven't listened to that, so I don't have the desire to go see them, because I don't watch them at their work, if that makes sense. You know, if it's like the person from Pokemon, I mean, I think every person and kid has seen that in English. So, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll go listen to them, or if they have things in the industry, or I think they had a Final Fantasy thing going on. I want to get into Final Fantasy. I haven't, so... That being my first thing, I wouldn't, like, know what's going on, so I wouldn't go in. So, pretty much, I just stayed in the main attraction, which is the dealer's room slash artist's room. So, dealers are people who sell, you know, objects. Artists are, they're, I wouldn't say they're professionals. I mean, they have their own business, but they draw every, like, everything is hand handmade. Um, I would say it's best definition for an artist. So, I guess some of them are pros, but it's just, they drew it themselves, so... Really awesome stuff. It's just as good, in my opinion, as the things that are machine-made, I guess, by, you know, a factory or whatever. Um, you know, the person that makes it themselves, they get it printed out, they package it. I give them a lot of credit. I love going to that. I saw some of the same people, again, you know, selling stuff from the other ones. So that was awesome. I, I reconnected with them, told them, hey, I bought some of your stuff before. It's always cool giving them feedback, and I'm sure they appreciate it. Um, so that was awesome. Um... The, the line to, to get your ticket, so, you know, there's two lines. Buying a ticket that day or getting your ticket, I guess, scanned or verified um, that you've, you know, pre-bought, pre-registered. So there's two lines. It, it, it doesn't matter what line you're going, honestly. You save some money if you pre-register. I, I would always do that no matter what. Um, the, lo the waiting line was inside because you have to wait your turn for them to scan your stuff. I went late on purpose, and I still waited two hours to get my thing scanned and to get in. It's that many people that are there, and this is two hours late. It's it's crazy. There's so many people there. It's you know awesome that it's blown up like it is. No way they would have fit in that many people into the old place. So it's awesome um, that that industry is really blown up for that type of stuff. Two hours? That's kind of a buzzkill when you first get there. Hey, I'm going to have fun. Now you're waiting in two hours in line. Then you're finally out of the line. And you're like, oh, I'm a little bit tired after already. So you've got to sit down or do something else or easy or wait for your friends to get through the line. Not that I had that problem for this time, but you know how it is. So that's partially why I decided not to go again for the second day. Plus, the next day, Saturday, my usual anime group was having our usual meeting. I don't want to miss that. So yes, I could still go to the anime thing in the morning, and then I guess, instead of going home, drive straight to the meeting, and then home late at night. But, I was like, you know what, I'd rather relax, just do that. Plus it worked out too, um, someone from the group needed something anyway, so I was available for that. So it was awesome. Um, so instead, just stayed home, went to the anime group on Saturday, which was really cool. We meet at a coffee house. This time, like every two weeks, sometimes we meet at people's places, sometimes we meet at other stuff. Um, we had two new people come, which is sweet. So hopefully they stick around and like the group. Um, not that I'm the leader or anything, but it's always nice to see new faces. Um, next week, I'm going to New York with those guys. We're going to be checking out some anime things, the store. Uh, we might check out like Nintendo, the store, and you know, fun stuff like that. So that should be really fun. Um, yeah, so just did that on, on Saturday. And Sunday, I had other plans, but they didn't work out, which was fine. Just was a relaxing day. Not a problem at all. 
Um, and still had a blast. Um, so that was my weekend. Still got 8 mil XP, which is cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so guys, once again, thanks for watching. You know, 8.1 mil for the week. Not bad. And uh, until next time, I'll see you then. Peace out.